Hola, welcome to my channel and in this video I'd be ranting about surge protectors, AVRs and UPSs. UPS. And but before that, I want to share with you guys this one. I very recently purchased another mic and this time it's from Maono. I don't know how you say it. Some people may say Maono. Anyway, I bought it. It's mine. I call it Maono. It's a Maono condenser podcasting microphone kit model AU A03 Alpha Uniform Alpha 03 link in the description field below uh, do take note I don't have RTX voice enabled or rather it's not compatible with the computer I'm using right now and uh, my Asus AI noise cancelling dongle apparently the Asus is not compatible or it's not compatible with condenser microphones so if some of you guys are able to use your Asus with your condenser mic, uh, do share in the comment section below on how you did it. Uh, I would like to know how you guys did it, did that. And another is the only filter I have applied in here is through OBS's uh, noise gate and noise suppression. So you may, my, my voice may tend to sound a bit hummy. Yeah. Uh, anyway that's my opinion anyway here's the sound quality if you guys are interested it's in the link uh the link is in the description field below continuing uh last night uh, as i was browsing facebook i saw a thread a uh, user posted a video asking if this one's if this sounds normal and the sounds coming from his ups uh beeping long beeping sound and he's only using it, the beeping only happens every time he gains. As it turns out, his UPS rating, his UPS is only rated for 350 watts. And he's using it for his gaming computer. So the sound he's hearing is actually an alarm uh, where the UPS is already uh, experiencing overload. So that's what the sound was. And so guys, it's not because you have or are using a UPS, uh, your computer is already protected. Make sure, make sure you you have the correct uh, UPS for your computer or proper load rating uh, that's appropriate for your computer, something like that. And another thread I read last night was another user user posted. Uh, he experienced a uh, power supply failure after a power surge even though his power supply is connected to a surge protector so he asked are surge protector enough to protect your computers from surge uh, power surge well it may not be obvious for to some people but from the name itself to protect your devices from power surges all you need is a surge protector again from the name itself now having the right surge protector is the question it's not because it's uh fairly expensive it'll protect your device already be sure to do your research first uh read some reviews from actual users who actually owns the device that you'd be buying and find out its failure rate uh if you if you're not able to get that those information at the very least its failure rate uh, better think twice before buying them because you may actually just waste your money and it may turn out it's not protecting anything something like that so yeah do your research before actually buying them and one of the uh some people suggested that you should buy an avr to be fair they did say that comes with a surge protector because not all avrs have surge protection so take note of that and one one comment there or one response there that really bothered me is the the user mentioned that you should have a ups or your computer must have a ups something like that uh something to that effect right not verbatim but something to that effect and it's really bothering because ups may be quite an overkill to some people um it's not for everyone uh especially if you're just using your computer for gaming uh because why am i saying this power failure is not the one that losing power to your computer 
isn't really damaging your computer at all. Uh, the most damage that normally happens are corrupt corrupted files or applications. Like for example, uh, there are actually some times that uh, you're not able to open your Word document or Excel file because it got corrupted. So, or uh, an application needs to be reinstalled because it got corrupted, something like that. But components getting damaged because of improper shutdowns is not really the case. Uh, what happens during power failures uh, are is that it's there are spikes and or fluctuations and surges during power failures, right? And uh, the, the surges and the spikes are the ones that damages the computer. So having a surge protector and or a, an AVR that comes with a surge protector will be really helpful for your computer. That's, that's beyond, uh, uh, there's no contest there. There's no argument there. But for UPS, now when will you need a UPS? Okay, let's run things down. Surge protector, if your computer uh, has a very good uh, power supply unit, maybe a gigabyte <laughs> or a Seasonic, a Seasonic or Corsair, uh, you know, uh, a good rating uh, power supply unit. And you live in an area where you very rarely experience power fluctuations. All you really need is a surge protector, like for, because Power surges are fairly common, especially during a thunderstorm where there's a lot of lots of lightning. Yeah, uh, having a surge protector, beyond a doubt, is very helpful. Now, if you if you're in the Philippines like I am, uh, where power fluctuations are very normal, having an AVR that comes with a surge protection is very helpful for your computer because most if not all, most if not all power supply units doesn't come with a surge protection and or voltage regulation. Um, Corsair does, uh, I searched the internet and Corsair has this one protection, brown out protection or BOP as they call it, but I can't seem to find a specific power supply of theirs uh, that comes with a BOP. So I don't know. So again, in, uh, as a general, if you live in an area where power fluctuations are normal, uh, better buy yourself an AVR that comes with a surge protector. That would be a great idea. Now, as for the, for the UPS, as I mentioned, it's not for everyone. Now, if you're the type of person that uses the computer for productivity, like video, editing videos, or simply using Excel, right where saving your progress is really important before shutting your computer down yes ups will be for you another is if you're using your memory and or ssd for caching again ups will be helpful because if you suddenly lose power to your computer and you're using caching to speed your computer up all those unwritten data will be lost and most of the time it'll result to a corrupted file another one is uh, maybe if your computer is in a raid configuration well if your computer is in a raid configuration and you're doing improper shutdowns often and you're in a where you very often experience power fluctuations and you don't have a ups uh, better make sure you have a lot of time in your hands because with for those you know handling those backup recovery for your raid so yeah for raid configuration ups is maybe a must in, in my opinion so that's basically it and again rating how determine how much load your computer gets uh, like for example as we may know power supply units uh, it's not a good idea to, like, for example, I, I have a, a 500 watt graphics card, 100 watt CPU, so that's 600, and I'd be getting a 700 watt power supply unit. Th that's not really efficient for the power supply, and my PSU won't last that long if I keep that up. So, 
just do your research on how to get the a proper power supply for your computer okay now now that said for your ups uh, a good uh guide would be determine your power supply rating uh, in my case a uh, thousand watt power supply and add in your monitor monitor i'm not really sure let's say 200 watts depending on the size of it so that's already 1200 and maybe your modem modem is another 150 so that's 1300 speakers 100 watt 1500 so if all those things will be in, uh, plugged into my ups i should have at least 2000 watt rating ups but in my case i only have my seat my monitor and my computer plug into my ups so my ups is rated uh, 1500 watts something like that so just my point is determine the load you'd be using and make sure your your surge protector your ups or avr it will be able to provide that load to you, you know, we want to avoid overloading your ups or your protector all right so that's basically it and do your research again failure rate determine the failure rate it's not because it's expensive it'll be effective that's not always the case and another thing to note it's not because you already have a surge protector installed uh you'd be free from the damages that power surges may cause that's not always the case it will minimize that greatly the risk the risk of damaging components it will minimize that greatly but it will not totally eliminate it all right so but it is a good protection to have don't get me wrong uh if you don't have one at least a surge protector if you're here in the philippines better get one if if you don't want to buy another power supply unit in the near future because of having it broken because of power surge something like that uh yeah and i hope this video helps someone or help clarify the matter uh bottom line is it's not because you have the you have a ups uh you're protected already or uh you're you're squeezing your budget or you, you you know what i mean uh you're trying to make ends meet right and you're trying to do everything that you can just to be able to buy a ups only to find out that you don't really need one all you need is an avr so yeah uh i i really hope that this video would be able to clarify that and help someone out and as always i hope if there's something i forget to mention i'll be putting it in the description field below so please please read the description field in case i've forgotten to uh say it out loud i'll put it in there okay so yeah as always i hope you like this video and i hope you like the sound quality of this video and see you in the next one